Hi, my name's Adam Rose, and today I'm going to be taking you through this week's questions and answer session from us here at Nova Systems. Thanks for watching. So we've been asked how we can create our own custom drawing views within SolidWorks. And what I'm going to do is run through the process of that today. What we've got here is a drawing that I've already created and I want to put my own drawing view in a, in a bespoke orientation in the centre of the screen here. Now the easiest way to do this and one of the first ways I'm going to show is if we open up the model and do it from there. With the part opened up on its own, what I'm going to do is first of all rotate myself to the orientation I want the model to be in. And the easiest way to do that is to press the space bar or go to the heads up view toolbar at the top and use the commands from there. You may find you've got the view selector turned on, which gives you a set of panels which you can select views from. Now what I'm going to do is use that set of panels to get myself to a starter orientation. You'll notice that there's some areas of the cube around the back which I can't select very easily. If you hold down the Alt key, they then become selectable. And I'm going to go for this one in the corner here, and that will give me this view. I can then use the arrow keys on my keyboard to rotate this view around to get it in a slightly different orientation. So if I use Alt in combination with the arrow keys, I can rotate the model flat to the screen rather than rotating it like you would normally with your middle mouse button. That allows me to rotate the model all the way upside down. If I then want to save this view, I press the space bar or go to this view, view menu at the top again. You'll notice the view selector pops up and rotates your model out of that view, but don't worry, if you turn it off, it's still in that orientation. And what we can do next is we can use this button here called New View. Now this is the key, if we press this New View button, we can save that view away to access it again. So I can call this view New 1 and click OK. The nice thing about that is it's available from the menu then. If we rotate out of that view, we can then get back to new, view, new one whenever we want. You'll also notice there's a button which allows us to save this to SolidWorks, which means if you use a similar orientation in all your different models, you can save it away and use it in, say, 10 different designs without actually having to create it. Now, once I've created that custom drawing view, or custom orientation as it is at the moment, I'm going to switch to my drawing and inside of here I can insert it you'll find that usually it's available in the view palette I'm just going to refresh that okay now you can see that the uh, the new one view is available in the top left there I can simply just drag that into the graphics area to insert it and there we go okay and then I can just change some of the settings to get it the way I want now the other way to insert our own drawing view is to just insert one of the standard views from our view palette here. So I'm just going to pick up, uh, as an example, the front view. And I'll just drop it in the middle of the graphics area. Having inserted that one, I can then change my settings and use this button at the top here called 3D Drawing View. If you select 3D Drawing View, what you can do is rotate the model in the graphics area into your own view, into the right orientation, and then all we do is simply hit the tick and that leaves the model in that orientation so in the 3D drawing view button we can also save views from here we click save view we can name it new 2 and then it will also be accessible from the graphics area if we go back to the model so we can use either of those two drawing views as many times as we want for this design and if we save them away into SolidWorks we can use them wherever we want Thanks very much for watching.